Notts County talk, it's finished Notts County 2, Hartlepool 2, uh, I'm joined by Matt. Matt, what did you make of that? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a good fun game. I think everyone enjoyed it. It was 2-0 down and brought it back to get a pretty deserved point, I thought. Yeah, first half performance obviously wasn't fantastic, but the, the goal came at a brilliant time, didn't it? What did you make of the goal as well? The goal the goal was good. It was a nice, um, it was a good commitment from Thomas, to be fair. He sort of threw himself in there and got a little knock. But the first half was a whole lot... I wasn't, I know it was 2-0 down and we didn't play well, but I didn't think we were that terrible. You can still see patterns of play, we're still creating, um, but just just didn't work for some reason. What do you think it was that didn't work? Um, I think one of the issues for me was that there was quite a big gap between the um, the front two and the centre mids. I suppose Rose and Doyle were playing a bit deeper and although one of, you know, Wooten or Thomas was trying to drop it, it just wasn't working. And then obviously when uh, he tried tucking in Enzio and tucking in Shields, I thought Shields was really disappointing today, to be fair. I'm not he looked he a bit nervous on the ball, like didn't have a clue what to do. Crosses were coming in later than usual for him. It, yeah, I'll put it down as a bad day for him, but he didn't get back well. He didn't have any end product. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Now, I don't usually talk about the opposition much on the fan chats, but I was very impressed with Hartlepool, especially first half. They kind of ran out of steam, but for me, they're the best team I've seen down, down at Medellin, especially the first half. Yeah, I liked how they, they, they went for it. Uh, there's a lot of teams that come here and kind of camp and play on the counter, which is always understandable. You never criticise anyone's tactics. I don't mind negative tactics. It's an art in some, some extent. But yeah, fair play to them. They, they turned up today and they kind of... They, they didn't just sit in their own half and let us have a go at them and try and hit us on the counter. They, they took it to us and you know, they probably deserved to to get something out of the game, especially after that first half. Second half, maybe not. Um, it, it's, one of those, it's one of those stupid cliches where if you say the game was 10 minutes longer, Knotts would have won. They probably would have won, but games on 10 minutes longer, so it's a, it's a stupid thing to say. Did you feel at 2-0 that Knotts were always in with a chance yeah. before Thomas yeah. got the goal? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Like, like I said earlier, I, I didn't think we were playing that bad. No, yeah. Um, and just think about us this season. You, you just feel as though we, we kind of have that ability to, to go and get a goal out of nowhere almost. Yeah, especially after last season with no fight in the team. No, you go 1 0 up, you never know. You knew it was going to be 1 1 or lose 2 1. Yeah. To, to have that fight that we've got, <clears throat> come off against the poor performance against Chesterfield, to go and thump Woking 4 0 convincingly, and then to come here 2 0 down, it's what we want to see, isn't it? Like, the fight is. Is there. It's just nice to see scoring goals. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we just scored goals quite freely. Um, t- to be fair to us, today is a rare day where we were a little bit, I say, sloppy at the back. We conceded a couple of goals. Tra- traditionally, we've done really well defensively. It's uh, since been our Achilles heel for the last three or four seasons, but we've kind of turned that around. But um, yeah, it is it is nice to to have a bit of faith in your players, and even if you do go behind, you think. We could still get back into this. Enzio could do something. Thomas could do something. Wharton could do something. Whereas in previous years, you've kind of looked to one person. I mean, last year, for example, you think, well, who can change this game? I guess Enzio can, but it was few and far between last season with him, really. Yeah, he's talking about who can change the game. You look at the bench today. You've got a top scorer coming off the bench. Yeah. Nathan Tyson. Dennis Tyson. Just Osborne on the bench today. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, it's just. Um, the, the quality in this team now is is good, but uh, um, towards the end of the game, when Enzio cut in, we've seen him cut in so many times. You oh, bet your house on the was, goal. Yeah, you, you you did think, hang on, he's going to do another one here. He's going to you know, curl that into the bottom corner. But uh, yeah, I, just going back to what we we're saying about what's coming off the bench, that's what's really going to help us over this next two three months with when the games come really thick and fast, thick and fast, I should say. The quality that we've got, the quality that we can rotate with, is something that other teams can't, can't have. Whether that be you know financially or just can't attract that kind of player, and um, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need those Dennis's. We're going to need those Tysons. We're going to need the Osbournes. With a you know might need Fitzsimmons or something. Mm. We've got that strength and depth, and that is that's what's going to be crucial over you know November, December, January. Yeah, quick word on the Hartlepool fans today. I thought the atmosphere was great. Yeah, fair play to them. It's just Always a good day down in Nottingham, isn't it? Is. It's, a, it's a good link for them. Um, yeah, fair play to them. They were a little quiet in the second half, but first off, they were cracking. And yeah. uh, at the end, they had a little sing as well. So, yeah. Matt, cheers for joining us. Thank you. Cheers.